everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually post. I normally post a lot of homemaking videos but today I thought I would bring y'all along for a little behind the scenes vlog. So on this particular morning we were getting ready to head to an appointment which was 45 minutes in one direction and then one of my kids also had piano lessons on this day in the opposite direction by about another 45 minutes. And so I had more driving than anything. I do try not to schedule anything on piano lesson day for that reason, but that's just how it worked out this time. So I'm just going with it. Um, so I'm just slapping some makeup on my face really quick while I have my coffee and the kids have breakfast and then we will be heading out the door. This is usually a frazzled time for me trying to get myself ready and get everyone else ready to get out the door. The boys can pretty much get themselves ready. I just have to make sure that, you know, their clothes match, etc. It's more so my toddler that I have to fully get ready. Thankfully, most mornings aren't like this though. We usually have slow, calm mornings before we get into school, but I can share more on that in a later video. You guys have requested some routine videos, so I plan to throw those in here soon. I am trying to get back into my two videos a week, so hopefully I can get a good schedule going here. Before we get in, I also want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and making dinner time really easy for us. I know the fall time can be a really busy time for a lot of us with back to school and sports. HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenient items all delivered to your door. Every recipe includes ripe and fresh produce that travels from the farm to your door in less than a week. HelloFresh works with your schedule, so the plans are flexible. You can change your meal preferences, update your delivery day, and even change your address right on the HelloFresh app. But HelloFresh isn't just for dinners. You can shop the HelloFresh market for quick breakfast, wholesome snacks, and even desserts. HelloFresh also offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meal options to make it easy to stick to your goals. You can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading to choice proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. HelloFresh recipes include pre-portioned ingredients, so that means less prep for you and less wasted food. So to get started, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Okay, guys, so we're done with one appointment, um, but we've also got piano lessons at the other end of the country what seems like. I don't have enough time to go home so we're gonna go get some lunch and then after we do that I need to go to Walmart and um, I have a few things I need to get from there but I also need to get them all some shoes. They desperately need shoes so um, we're gonna try to do that and I told them if they were on their best behavior we could also go to the Halloween store and pick out their Halloween costumes so we should have enough time to get all that done before uh, piano lessons, but right now we're gonna go get some lunch. I think we have all voted on Sonic. So, is that what everybody wants? Mm -hmm. Sonic? Okay, I'm obsessed with their cherry limeades right now. So piano actually got canceled, but it's fine. Um, that gives us a little bit more time to get stuff done today. So 
what I'm gonna do is save Walmart for last because I remembered I have some cold stuff to get anyways. So we came on to the mall. Um, we're gonna check out the Halloween store and probably the shoe store that's in the mall as well, um, just to see what they have. Hopefully they're having a sale. But we're just gonna go in and see what we can find. All right, you gotta close your eyes and you can't tell. After you make your wish, you can throw it in. You did it? <laughs> yeah. I see. I don't think they move. So we're home. I was gonna show y'all really quick the shoes that the kids picked out. Kang wanted to wear his as soon as we left the store. Um, so he wore his, but they're just some bright green, bright green, bright green light up sketchers. And then these are what Ty picked out. He specifically wanted shoes that are no tie, just slip on. So those, and then for Ray, I wanted to spend a little bit less money because she's at that stage where she, her foot is growing so incredibly fast that I really can't keep up with the shoe buying. So I got her some shoes from Walmart, um, but these will last the boys for a pretty good while. Their feet don't seem to be growing as fast. So they've been wearing just slides and flip flops all summer that they have outgrown all of their tennis shoes so they desperately needed some new shoes yeah we gotta get you some either some black tights or we'll just put on a dark pair of jeans yep that's the costume he picked out and Kai still got to decide what he wants to be mm -hmm. he's not sure yeah we browsed everything but he just wasn't sure what he wanted to be so i told him we would just check on amazon but kane's happy with his we already have Ray. She's going to be a ballerina. I am going to be Sarah Sanderson. My sister's dressing up as Winnie Sanderson. And one of my friends is going to be Mary Sanderson. So I'll have to show you guys my costume once I have it on and like have my makeup and all that done. But I love it. So I curled my hair this morning and this is what's left of it. I mean, not too bad, but... That's the only tool that will curl my hair and it actually holds somewhat. This is doing pretty good um, considering how terrible my hair holds curl. But I've had that curling wand since, don't scare, I've had that curling wand since 2009, I think, 2009, 2010. And it's been the only thing that works on my hair. And so I've just held on to it. It actually has a short in it, so it goes in and out. But I don't want to get rid of it because it's the only thing that curls my hair. And I don't know what the material is to buy another one. So I've been seeing the TikTok cinnamon rolls everywhere. And I had to give them a try for myself. And I'm so glad I did because this takes canned cinnamon rolls to a whole other level. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm melting four tablespoons of butter. And then to that, I'm adding three tablespoons of brown sugar, about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and a splash of vanilla. And then you're just gonna mix that all together I 
And so now you're just going to go ahead and spray your pan, lay out your cinnamon rolls, and this can be whatever kind of rolls that you prefer. I really wanted to get the orange ones because we like orange rolls, but I could not find those at the grocery store the day that I got these. So I just went with regular cinnamon rolls and then you'll take about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and pour that over the rolls along with your melted butter mixture. You're going to cover and bake on 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. I think ours was a total of 40 minutes, but I know everyone's oven is different. Here's what they look like coming out of the oven. You can see they have doubled or even tripled in size. They taste like homemade cinnamon rolls. So I really don't think that I can go back to just baking them straight out of the can. I will always add the heavy whipping cream. Um, some people are going as far as to make a cream cheese frosting for the tops and I'm sure that takes them to a whole other level but I just used a frosting that comes in the can for now. Like I said, I've seen a lot of hyper on these lately and I had to try them and I'm so glad I did. So if you have tried them, let me know in the comments down below. So it's the next day. I'm just showing you a little glimpse here of what a normal morning looks like for us as a homeschool family. Right now I'm working with my oldest while the other one does his independent work and then once I have my oldest doing his independent work, I'll work one-on-one -on -one with the other and that's how I balance it out. I do have to make sure that my toddler is occupied or napping though because that's when we can get the most done. So you guys remember yesterday I was talking about being obsessed with the Sonic Cherry Limeade lately and I'm gonna try to make one myself so I've got a Sprite Zero and then I picked these up yesterday at Walmart. I'm gonna add a packet to this and hopefully it will taste just like a Sonic Cherry Limeade. I've tried the off brand. I can't remember what it was called um, and it was good. It just didn't taste quite like the Sonic one. So today I have the Sonic brand. We're gonna try it. Oh, and I got the Ocean Water one too. I've not tried the Sonic Ocean Water. Um, from what I can see on this, it's lemon and lime with a coconut flavor. I'll try that another day, but today I wanna make the cherry limeade. I'm also gonna do a TikTok. Face again, I'm far from being sad. 
satisfied yet I have to see your face again Oh let me see your face again And take me to the place we first met You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Okay y'all it's good. You gotta do it. It tastes a lot more like the Sonic one than the other brand. So give it a try. All right, so everyone's been asking for a land update or home update. So I figured we would walk over here and I will give you guys an update and a tour of the land. Right now, where we're at is having the well put down. I think they're coming out either next week or the week after to do that. I've got all of my permits in place. Um, and then the septic is gonna be put down after I have my home here. So I have a limb there that fell, but all of this was just full of underbrush. Uh, the grass has grown back, but I need to find someone that can come out and cut my grass. I wanted to keep a lot of the trees because I like the shade that they give. I just had them take down any trees that were dead. Like we had a big pine tree, I think it was about here, that had a huge canker in the side. And so I had them take that down um, just in case, you know, storms come through. But I love this. This is my favorite part of the property. It actually goes a little bit further back but there's a house on over on that side. So I just had them stop right there. Kind of give us a little bit of privacy between us and them. I would really like to have some chickens, maybe a goat or two, but that's just kind of what I'm envisioning right now. Um, it's just so pretty out here and peaceful and it's right next to my mom. So we're not gonna be going far from her. So we're walking towards the back of the property. Um, there is a fence that divides us and those people All of this is the aftermath of having the trees that I had cut down um, ground up so there wouldn't be uh, stumps laying around I just went ahead and had them grind everything up. And we also have been having trespassers still walking over here and they also litter on the property. So we've got to do something about that. I've tried signs, the signs aren't working. So I'm thinking maybe get some trail cams. But I'm hoping once we get over here, they will know better than to continue walking on my property. That right there is so pretty this tree or trees Mama, look. did you find a vine <laughs> yep and some of you were asking on Instagram where about my home is gonna sit so let me get to the front of the property here by the road and I can kind of show you better but all of the permits are in place the well is in the works um, it's been cleared. I'm basically just now looking for a home. All right, so this is facing the property from the road. So if you were to turn in my drive, this is what you would see. Um, my home is gonna sit right where the tip of my fingernail is going there. My mom's home is right there. It's gonna sit exactly how hers is. I think that's about how far back I want it to go. Would like to eventually get some more privacy barriers there in the back. I don't know what I would do yet. Maybe some more trees or, cause there were no trees there. It's just a fence. Um, so maybe some trees or even hedges. I don't know, but some kind of privacy.
like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I wanna see your face. 